Um, they do have a fury here. Lunch money! Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what robots do pro players use. So these are the robots that uh, you will tend to see in champion or uh, slash legend league. Um, these players tend to run, you know, heavy, high damage dealing uh, builds. So what I have done here was I've loaded up a couple of these builds and I'm, I'm going to actually play I think maybe uh, three games um, because I'm going to need to switch some of these bots out. There are others that, you know, I wanted to show that I don't have here in my hangar. So uh, first off we have a variation of the death button uh, griffin. Uh, as you can see here, um, this griffin has uh, aphids and orkins. The a uh, true death button griffin has uh, pinatas instead of the uh, aphids, but a lot of players are running uh, aphids because you can lob it over uh, cover, so that's why I have this one in here. Um, the next one here is the Plasma Galahad. Um, I've been seeing a lot of uh, you know this bot lately, um, especially if you need to counter something like an Ancelot. Uh, this bot works great. Um, the shield of the Galahad is actually stronger than that of the Lancelot, so a lot of players have been uh, using this build. Some have kind of uh, run the death button build, which is the uh, Orkin and two Pinatas. Um, but I have found the Tehran Magnums to uh, be the strongest uh, for this uh, Galahad. We then have the Lancelot with Thunder Orkins. Um, this build is, it's actually starting to be used a little bit more often now because it's a good counter to the Ancelot, which is the Lancelot with Ansel and, um, you know, most times it's run with the uh, Tehrans, but Again, this one is a counter to that build, so that's why a lot of uh, high-level players are running this. Another one which you may potentially see is the Lancelot with the Thunder Tehrans. Um, the Tehrans can actually shoot through an Ansel shield as well, so some players are using this as a bit of a counter to the Ancelot. And uh, what, what I have right now is my Fury Trident. Now, the Fury Trident can be a bit of a hit or miss. Um, if the other team has a lot of uh, Ancelots, which is the Lancelot with Ansel Tehrans, um, it completely shuts out the Fury Trident. But some players have still been running the Fury Trident because it's used to counter the Galahad. So uh, if, you, if I go back here to the Galahad, the Galahad doesn't have an energy shield. It has a physical shield. So there's no ways that the Galahad could stop Tridents. Um, if you hit the, the Galahad, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. So that's why a lot of players have been running the, the Fury Trident. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to run um, three... I'm going to run three games. I'm going to be uh, switching things up uh, depending on, you know, what I see. And uh, just to kind of showcase the different builds that you will more often than not see in like high level play. So uh, while we wait here, um, the other builds that I wanted to also show you guys was the Griffin with the Orkin Pinatas, which I mentioned was the Death Button Griffin. Um, there's also the Plasma Griffin, which is the Griffin with Tehrans and Magnums. And then the Lancelot, what I have not showed yet, is the uh, the Ancelot, uh, which you probably have seen a lot of if you're in high-level play, but it's the Lancelot with Ansel and Tehrans. Some players also run Orkins on it, so they run uh, Ansel and Orkins. I would say those tend to be um, the majority of the cases of what you're about to see. So when we drop in here, there's a good chance that you're going to see players run uh, these builds. I'm going to run with my Fury Trident first. So uh, as you can see right now, that's pretty much what you see on my team. You see, um, I think the guy in front of me is in a Death Button Griffin, and then we have the Ancelot with the uh, Ancel Tehrans, the Galahad, the Plasma. And um, if you do see like any sort of Beacon Runner on your team, and this is just what I have witnessed, more often than not, they would be running a Gareth with a Tehran Magnum. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled up for what the other team is running because that sort of gives you an idea as well. So not only on our end. I did see a treb back there, but it's very rare that you would see, uh, you know, trebs being used in high level play, especially in clan play, because it just, it can be a bit of a liability. I'm going to see if I can hit this guy. I don't think he has a shield. Yeah, I think he had, I think he, he was running a Galahad or something. He was moving up that ramp pretty quick.
I'm gonna move uh, to the left side a bit. They actually have um, they have a guy on the right side there with trebs. But I'm gonna move to the left side because um, they're starting to flank, and I'm not sure what these guys are in. I'm guessing they're probably Galahads or something. So you can see um, one of the players coming down their side of the ramp is in a Lancelot. So this is what I mean. So you see how in front of me there's a guy there. He's in a Ancelot. And that Fury has cover from him. So I actually have to get down here because there's no ways that I could win that battle. Now what's going to end up happening is I would fire. The Ancelot would completely shut my Fury Trident out. And then I would get hit by their Fury Trident. So in other words, a Fury Trident would be taking no damage whatsoever, and I would be taking the full brunt of uh, that attack. I think I could have uh, got that guy if I had uh, concentrated uh, on him a little bit quicker. But uh, yeah, there's a guy down below here. Let's see what this guy. I did get a little bit of chunk out of him, but he's uh, yeah, he hit me pretty bad there. See, so what, what you see happening right now, I think, because I can't hear game sounds, so which is a bit unfortunate, but I think, uh, I'm just trying to hit that wall there. Sometimes the splash damage actually goes through the wall and it can hit a player. But um, what some players have been doing lately is they've been running like um, Carnage Thunders and stuff. So what they do is they knock down the uh, shield. Just trying to hit this guy on the side there. They knock down the Ancelot shield and then the uh, Fury Trident uh, hit them. It's actually a guy. Right. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, switching over to. Let's run a Lancelot with the uh, Tyrans here. We need to get into that center. I needed some uh, reachability. I was thinking about my Lancelot with. Um, I think I had the Thunder Orkins, but uh, these guys are in center. I know they have an Ancel there. And uh, if they have range on me, then I only really have my thunder to do damage. I figured, let's run with the uh, the Tehran build. So I'm knocking down this guy's shield just in case my team does have any splash. So uh, the guy on the left side here, this that build um, is called the Russian Death Button. So it has a uh, Talambus and pins. That actually used to be pretty uh, useful before, but you know, with the uh, strength of the Ansel now, it, it doesn't work as well as it used to. Like even even the Fury Trident. Be careful what this guy's got. I'm trying to run away from him because he has those. Uh, he has those Orkins. Oh man, I'm gonna get toasted. So here's another build there. So do you see the uh, this guy here? He's got the Ansel and Orkins. So that's the other one which I will be uh, switching out, uh, you know, after this game. I just want to show you guys some of the, uh, you know, the variations of the different builds which you'll see in high level play. Looks like they have a guy with a Fury Zeus. I was thinking about putting that into this video, including the Fury Zeus, but you know, I, I don't see that as much as I, you know, you would expect to see it. Um, I think I see more Tridents than, than that build. I'm moving back from this guy because uh, he has, uh, I saw he had Hawkins. Trying to move back because uh, these guys uh, have their range on me. I think my shield may be breaking soon. That uh, Zeus has been uh, doing quite a bit of uh, work on me. Okay. If 
We're gonna get this uh, Fury here. I think I'm probably gonna get taken out on the uh, right side of me, but I'm trying to focus on this Fury because he's our biggest threat right now. Yeah, this guy has uh, Orkins. He's gonna take me out, but we managed to uh, at least change that Beacon White. So uh, I think, yeah, we did a great job at clearing out the uh, side and center there. I think the other team got a little bit too aggressive on us. And we have support of a Fury Trident, so those that splash damage I think helped a lot. What does this guy on the right have? Oh, he's got Tridents. Yeah, you don't really see Carnage Tridents being used much. I would say, um, in terms of Carnage builds, um, most times I see them with either Thunders or um, with Zeus. Trying to see if I can launch my aphids on top of this guy. They have a. Uh... Trying to curve it around the uh, the edge there. And these guys are uh, flanking us pretty good here. Trying to get my aphids up top on that guy. There's this guy here. I'm going to jump and fire at him. Take him out. This guy, I don't... Let's see if I can... If I can knock his shield down, that would be good. Just before I die. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my uh, Lancelot with uh, Thunder and Orkins to hopefully uh, clear out that center. Looks like the other team is making out. Um, this is... A pretty close game they are winning by the beacon boss so we have to make sure that um, we hold down that center is that guy punishes or something the downside to <laughs> the downside to uh, when i'm kind of doing live commentary is i can't hear this the game sounds so I have to kind of visually see what's happening. Kind of waiting to get within that 300. Okay, so we've managed to hold this down, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. 40 seconds, they may they may actually still win this. Yeah, we've got to get a beacon fast. I think we may have actually lost this. Yeah, 30 seconds may not be enough. I don't know, it's going to be close. Actually, if we can kill this guy, maybe I should just go straight for him. Although I've only got 20 seconds to kill him and he's moving back. Yeah, there's no ways. He actually just needs to stay alive in order for them to win. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to uh, finish him off 10 seconds. Yeah, 3 seconds. Yeah, I think they still won. Wow, that was close. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be uh, switching things uh, in my lineup here. Um, as I said, you know, this is kind of just a few of the bots that you will see in high level play used by uh, pro players. I'm not going to be uh, switching over to, because I have an answer lot to ready to run here. So sometimes you see uh, this build with the, the answer and the Tarans. And um, I think I am going to throw in... Um, an Ansel with Orkins because sometimes you see that too. I don't personally run this but I do sometimes see players run that and then we have a so we have a death button a griffin so I think I have one loaded up here somewhere we have the uh, plasma griffin too I will throw that in as well later on I'm just kind of organizing my hang a bit 
and then I will throw in a plasma grip here. So again, a lot depends on what the current meta is. So it's like pretty much as of today, the, you know, the day that I'm recording this, um, this is the current meta and these are the bots that you are more likely to see in high level play. So what I've done was I've switched out a couple of, uh, of bots here. This is called the Death Button Griffin. So the Death Button Griffin is um, a griffin with two Orkins and two Penates. And then this is the uh, Ancelot, like a variation. So you have the Ansel, and then you have the two Orkins, and then you have the uh, Plasma Griffin. And then uh, this one I had uh, thrown in, Ansel and Turans. So uh, let's run another game and, whoa, that's pretty quick. We might be uh, facing a clan or something here. I think it might be LA. They're not dropping in because they're waiting to see. I think. Oh, what? No, it looks like an organized. Yeah, it's LA. I think they are squatting together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to run. Let's run the Galahad first. So uh, once again, yeah, keep your eyes peeled out for what the other team is running. I do see a Rhino in front of me, but... In all honesty, I don't really see much of the Rhino being used as much, at least on iOS. There's a guy going into a center that I'm kind of keeping an eye on. Kind of making it look like I don't see him. I want him to go straight into the middle before I attack. This leaves him the most vulnerable and then we can all shoot him. He might get that beacon, but he will do little to no damage. Is a uh, see what I mean? There's a lot of Galahads and stuff being used. So these guys are gonna just stay behind that wall there. They're gonna corner shoot me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not sure what that that one player has there. We actually need to make our way to the right side. Ooh, they have a Fury Tron. I'm going to be careful. I should have actually followed that guy a little bit quicker. Yeah, my shield got blown off. I can get this beacon, nope, I couldn't get it. Okay, so I'm just taking a look to see what they, these guys have. And then I'm going to see if I can run a little bit of a counter. Need some splash there because they have a lot of Galahads. See, we are getting the uh, center here. I'm going to push a little bit to the left side. guy's almost dead that one's almost dead too okay so it looks like we're gonna secure this left side they have a guy in center though yeah look at all those uh i wanted to jump forward but that's a bad move if i did that because i'd jump into the center and then i'd be left vulnerable to all their uh the ancelots and stuff back there I know these guys have a lot of uh, Lancelots and stuff. Okay, so I managed to take him out. Someone's need it. Someone needs to knock this guy's shield down. He's getting actually hit. I figured I'd knock his shield down because I think someone on our team has tridents, I could be wrong. But if... Oh shoot, I guess he was targeting the wrong guy. Let's see if I can try curve my 
rockets around that corner there. So we can get that gal ahead of it. Just staying around this uh, corner here, things are getting a little bit crazy. Um, so use my teammates. I had to knock him because I had no choice. Um, let me see what do I have here. I think I'm gonna run with my plasma griffin. If I can get range on this guy before he gets that beacon. There we go. We're trying to hold down this left side. We're in a pretty good uh, position right now, actually. Trying to hit. Ooh, they have a. That's a dock. I think that was a dock with a. Dock with a Columbus back there. I think some of our players are freezing up. In case you're wondering why I'm firing all my weapons, I play on the phone. I always have to emphasize this because a lot of players say that I could just fire two weapons, but when you're on a phone and your controls are incredibly small, it's not possible to do that. I'm uh, just waiting. This guy's getting. Ooh. Let's see if I can corner shoot some of these guys. I actually need help on this side. Holy crap. I'm getting hit. Go is just to get that damage in on his shield to break it. Okay, so I'm gonna run with my Ancelot with the uh, Orkins now because I know those guys have. Uh, they have Galaheads and they can't stop splash so that's why I'm going to use this one we're in a uh, pretty good shape here actually as far as the beacon uh, bar goes I'm going to go around the corner here I know this I think this guy here he has um, Galahad I'm way too close for him to back up to. I'll take him out. I'm gonna move across here. These uh, death button griffins are gonna try to stop me, but if I have this beacon, that will give us a. Uh, Okay, so I've managed to lock this beacon. That should do it. Four beacons on them. So you can kind of see kind of what the other teams running, what we were running. Very similar in terms of, uh, you know, what... I mean, actually, let's go ahead and let's just take a look while we're at it. So you can see, I mean, you know, I mentioned the RDB. You generally don't see it uh, anymore now. I think a lot of players have kind of transitioned to Fury Trident if they are going to be running... Uh, any kind of medium range uh, splash but uh, there you go you see your Lancelots your Galahads and uh, let's take a look at um, this player here so yeah, you see the Fury Trident you see the Death Button Griffin Lancelots Galahads let's take a look at this guy there's a Galahad Lancelot Furies Um, you don't really see the dock being used much. I think out of all the players that I've actually seen use the dock, I've seen them use Orkins instead. Now this guy's got four to Lumbus. But yeah, you look at the uh, the bots that they're using. Lancelots, Galahads, Griffins, for the most part. There you go again. Very similar.
And uh, once again, so you do see some, I know they're running RDBs, but I generally don't see that. I see more Fury Tridents, I think. And we're talking about like clan play higher level. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be running one more game and I'm going to be switching out something here. I think what I will do is I will switch out. Hmm. I'm gonna switch out the uh, death button Griffin. I'm just gonna throw in a Gareth because I know some of you may be kind of wondering, so I don't see any light robots in high level play. You actually do occasionally, not a lot, a lot of times, but you do sometimes see them. And uh, usually when I do see a light robot, it's more often than not a Gareth. Now the downsides to the Gareth is it's very, very fragile. If you get hit by something like Tridents, you will go down very quickly because um, the Gareth can't block uh, rockets or missiles. And it doesn't really have much uh, HP either. So <laughs> when you get hit by Tridents, that's like 60,000 uh, damage taken off your bot like in an instant. So basically if I get hit by if I get hit by a Fury Trident or an RDB Griffin, it's pretty much lights out for me. But the benefit of having a fast bot, I would say, is more often than not, because you're running in high level play, most of the players tend to run heavy bots and they tend to be slower. So if you look at, like, say, the Griffin, the Lancelot, um, you know, those bots and, like, the Fury, they're all very slow bots in comparison to the Gareth. So the Gareth can move around a lot quicker. On larger maps, I would say, it can be a, quite a bit of a distraction, which is a good thing because it allows your teammates to get into position. But on maps like say even like Power Plant, you could change you know the pace of the game very quickly if the other team isn't able to stop you because you know just running in between like buildings and stuff, you can capture beacons very very quickly. I think on like on Moon Map, if you know all the uh, the areas where the beacons are clear and you had a Gareth run by they could end up capturing a lot of beacons in a very short amount of time because it's just, it's very easy to get from point A to point B beacon wise. So like on this map, you know, if both teams are on the platform, for example, and you let a Gareth go all the way to like the dam and the, the center and then the farm, they can cover that ground very, very quickly. So I'm gonna run Looks like we have um, Old Pappy. He's in the other Vox clan, but he is in clan Vox. So he's in a, a JC. The JC is also a very quick bot. So I'm going to run all the way to the left side. I actually have to be very careful just in case they do have Trebs. Uh, that's the other thing too. If you get hit by Trebs and you don't have your shield up, uh, you're going to be hurting. So my Gareth is max level. And uh, as you can see at the top left corner, Max level Gareth only has 80,000 HP. Now, if you get hit by a Fury Trident or an RDB Griffin, they do roughly 60,000 damage. So I would only have 20,000 damage or uh, 20,000 HP left, which really isn't that much. I mean, at that point, I think your legs are either going to be damaged or you would maybe possibly have a weapon uh, blown off. So it just takes that, that one shot. So you have to be very aware of what's going on around you when you run uh, the spot. But you can cover a lot of ground very, very quickly and you can end the game. Looks like the, uh, the other team actually only has four uh, players here. I'm not sure what this guy's in. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep my distance. Uh, because if he has something with Orkins, I don't want to get too close. If I can stay that 200, like 280, 300 meter range, I would be good. I'm going to keep my shield up. I'll try shooting from the side here. So it looks like we're going to be getting that uh, beacon on the left side. I think they got our own home beacon here. There's, there's only four on the other team. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to run another game after this. Because this game's going to be over very, very quickly. 
I'm gonna see if I can actually break this guy's shield. I gotta be careful though. They've got a carnage back there, and that carnage has tridents. If I can try and hit him on the side, that would be good. They got another guy here. I'm gonna stay near the wall here. I'm not sure what this guy's in, but if I can corner shoot him, that would be good. Ah, yo. So this is the guy that I have to be uh, very careful of because he has a uh, trident. I think he's going to be uh, firing at me soon. Okay, so he's taken out. Whoa, that was weird. I'm going to see if I can kind of flank this guy a bit. I want to shoot him at on the side because he doesn't have a shield on that side. So while he's facing my teammates, then I'll be able to hit him from the side and take him out. I think my shield's going to end up breaking soon. I'm trying to keep my distance from this guy because uh, this guy's in a Lancelot. And uh, if he's got Orkins, he can, yeah. So I'm running backwards because that way I can avoid his Orkins. And I'm going to keep on running back because he's not going to be able to hit me. He's hitting me with his thunders though. But I'm going to break through that shield. You can see it's broken. Okay, so we managed uh, to take him out. Here's another uh, Ancelot. Ooh, that guy's got a Zeus. So that game ended up being uh, very quick. I was I didn't even run the other bots. Yeah, so they had uh, two players on the other team that uh, didn't drop in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly run another game. Hopefully the other team, it's like 6 versus 6, because I know a lot a lot of this has been happening lately where players, um, they aren't replaced, or for whatever reason, maybe they crash, I don't know. I was actually in a game the other night where I was playing, and... But I think I lost my internet connection, that's why. I got sent back to hang and I crashed, but it w luckily it was towards the end of the uh, the game. I think I'm just going to start with my Gareth, get this out the way. I generally actually prefer to run my faster bots towards mid and late game in case I need that speed. Um, the other team only has five here. Oh, they got something with trebs back. Oh, they got a lot of trebs back there. Okay, so I'm going to move to the left side. He probably sees me moving pretty quick, so they're not... Yeah, they have a lot of range there. So when you're in such a fragile bot and you see that many trebs and stuff, you've really got to stick to cover because that's your only way to survive and a heavy attack. So I'm going to see if I can stick to the side here. I need to see if I can see what these guys are running. There's a guy that's moving up here. My goal is actually going to see if I can... See if I can hit this guy, that would be good. But there's a guy actually behind me too. I'm gonna fire into the wall here just to clear this. Yeah, there's a guy up here. Oh, I tried to actually get him. It wouldn't have made much of a difference because I think I got... Um, even if I had my shield up, I would have been uh, hit from behind. So I'm, I'm just looking to see what these guys have because they all have... They all hanging back. The problem is we've got the center beacon and eventually they will have to ditch. 
So uh, if they all sit back there in tribs, the next move for my team is actually going to be to their spawn area. And uh, we're in a very good position right now, I would say. So, you know, I just, I brought out my, uh, my answer lot with the uh, Turans because Turans will give me their reachability plus, you know, if they fire tridents at me, I will shut them out. Like if it's just one fury trident. This guy here on the right side, I believe is in a fury trident. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk up on the side here or a center and then I'm gonna move possibly to the right side to see if I can take that guy out. The Fury Trident I think is in trouble. Some guy is uh, moving down that side there. They are moving down the left side. I do see a, uh, I see a Galahad there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna move down the right I think. If I can take out this one Fury that would leave them with the one Fury less. They have a, a guy with trips, but in all honesty, he's just going to waste his shot on me. He'd rather fire at someone that doesn't have a shield. This guy is in trouble too. He killed himself. He realized what he was up against. This guy's going to fire his pins, but my shield's just going to block it. So this guy, I believe he has like an RDB setup, but can you see like my answer is so strong it just blocks it out. That's why you see a lot of high level players run this build. So I basically captured their beacon now. They've got to get rid of me if they want this beacon back. Um, they do have a fury here. Lunch money. <laughs> that guy's going to fire all his, uh, yeah, he just killed himself. This guy fired his death button at me, but guess what? Blocked it. So now they're in trouble because they need their beacon back and they can't get it. So I'm going to take him out and then I'm going to focus down this other guy. He's a laser pointer. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking out all their range and I'm going to be, by doing this, I'm forcing them to uh, basically brawl. So now he has to uh, leave. Now I'm going to back up so that I can use my Ansel here for as long as possible just to hold down the beacon. Because at this point, uh, if you take a look at the uh, beacon bar, they've pretty much lost. So I'm going to bring out my Plasma Griffin now. Probably won't see <laughs> my uh, Plasma Griffin really being used. Because the game's over at this point. But I, d I don't want to run, I don't want to go into like the fifth game. I know that the fourth game was really, really quick, but um, if you want to see some more footage, I guess, of my Plasma Griffin, I do have a uh, recent footage where, you know, I've run like a lot of uh, this build. I tend to run it a lot, especially during when I'm live streaming and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but this is the other build I think that I haven't really uh, run, but it can do a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage output. The only thing is if you're running into a lot of players with shields and maybe a bit of a problem, uh, you have to make sure that you stick to cover more and you corner shoot more. So I'm going to see if I can uh, wear this guy up. This guy, he can't hit me because he needs to be 300. He went into a sentry, but that doesn't work. So actually, yeah, we are getting some footage here of the uh, plasma griffin being used. But yeah, that's um, that pretty much about covers it. Um, you know, in terms of what builds do you see in like higher level play, um, you see you do see the the Garrus sometimes being used as a beacon runner. You definitely see the uh, Galahad and you see the Lancelot. You also see the Griffin being used because you see variations of like the Death Button or Plasma Griffin. Um, if you do see a Fury, Fury Trident, sometimes Fury Zeus, 
but um, I think players are running the Fury Trident mostly to counter the Galahad numbers out there. But I would say, yeah, it generally tends to focus more on um, the Galahad, the Lancelot, the Griffin, and maybe the Fury. Sometimes you see Gareth, sometimes you do see Carnage as well. Um, if you see Carnage, then it tends to be either Thunder or uh, Zeus. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, you know, let me just see if I can go through my... Let's just go through the store here in terms of, you know, what you really see in high-level play. So uh, as I said, Galahad, Fury, Lancelot, Griffin. Sometimes Carnage, sometimes Rhino. But uh, these builds not like the others. And, you know, if you do see a dock, more often than not, I see the dock with Orkin. But yeah, that, that pretty much covers, uh, you know, what robots you tend to see uh, pro, pro players uh, run in high level play. So champion and like legend league. But uh, otherwise, I hope you guys, um, you know, kind of found this video uh, helpful and uh, in terms of guide. Uh, so you know where to kind of put your resources towards. But yeah, make sure that you do focus on your Tyrants and Orkins and Thunders as well. Because uh, those weapons, you can kind of interchange on all these robots for the most part. And I have done a video um, about that. So I will probably leave a link in the video description as well as the comment section. And as always, uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.